players who disrespected fallen cop horrified when they see what's over stadium at this week's game. How's that for karma? The protesting players of the Saints and Packers got a taste of their own medicine before they squared up for a classic battle of Gridiron football at Lambeau Field just before the game started. The fans and players saw something in the sky that they weren't exactly used to seeing. It was a small airplane circling the field, but there was something hanging from it that caught them off guard. Upon a closer look, they noticed it was a banner that had a message to all the people in the stadium. It was a message especially to those who take a knee to protest the national anthem and show their disregard and disrespect to American citizens, soldiers, veterans, and our great country in general. The banner trailing behind the small air aircraft stated, Real men and NFL owners should stand for our country. If that's not a statement about being a true man and American citizen, then I don't know what is. It targets men specifically because it's pointed directly at the extremely overpaid athletes who've played plagued the NFL with protests and turned away so many fans that rating, uh, ratings are nosediving faster than a bee going in for the sting. Nothing stings more than seeing ratings tank, right? <laughs> That's funny. That is hilarious. Lambeau Field got an interesting treat hours before Green Bay Packers week seven contest, uh, contest versus the New Orleans Saints. Per Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network, there was a plane flying over Lambeau Field with a banner saying real men and NFL owners should stand for our country. Here's a look at the banner. The NFL has been dealing with the national anthem protest the last month. More players started to take a knee or sit during the national anthem after President Trump said players should be fired for protesting. There is no word if the Packers or Saints saw the banner. Oh, yes, they did. But even if they did, each time... Uh, each team's biggest concern for today is trying to find a way to win rather than worrying about a banner. There is no bigger concern in the NFL than winning and selling. If the team is losing games, then they're losing money. If the team is losing fans, then they're losing even more money. Nowadays, there are, so, are many teams experiencing losses on all sides of the spectrum. Losing games, losing fans, losing money, and that's not good for a team's longevity in the league. The players, owners, and Commissioner Goodell need to come to an agreement that gets these political protests out of the NFL games or the league will eventually tank. It's already tanked, and it's, it, you can't upkeep the bills for that kind of tanking. If the league tanks, that could be a great Thing for us, we might get to attend games for normal everyday prices. Actually, it's not the price. It, it, it's absolutely not the price. It was reported that the NFL players and owners gathered to discuss the situation with the protester, uh, protesters taking a knee. It was later reported that nothing came out of the meeting, although it was a positive meeting. Says who it was a positive meeting. Uh, but alas, the protests weren't banned like they should be. Some people remind us that military veterans fought for our rights to protest and have peaceful assembly. That's correct. However, the NFL players are at work, and they should not be protesting while they're at work. Very true. They are protesting towards their own fans who are now turning their backs on their team, their favorite players, and the league in general. Absolutely. If you protested things at your job, then you would probably be fired, which you would be. The protesting NFL players should be fired too. Of course, that's not how the League of Million Dollar NFL contracts work. Teams who lose don't make uh, as much money, so suspending players isn't in the best interest of the team owners. However, the league could fine any players who protest during the national anthem. Nothing talks more than money, so if players were fined 
25 grand, let's put it that way, each time they protested, then they would see people stop that real quick. Oh, absolutely. And it goes on, protesting the national anthem has been going on for quite a while in the NFL, and it hasn't made a difference except for people boycotting the league. The NFL players need to remember that the customers slash fans are why the players can have million-dollar contracts for playing a little kid's game. If fans didn't spend so much money to watch a game, eat the overpriced food, and get ripped off for things like parking and expensive drinks, then the athletes wouldn't earn so much money. Could you imagine if the NFL players earned a million dollars, only earned a million dollars each? <laughs> if that was the case, then we'd have normal priced food and drinks in the stadiums. We wouldn't pay 40 plus for parking. We would be treated like respectable citizens instead of price gouged before we even get in the door. Absolutely. NFL football is entertainment. It's time for the players to realize that we are paying their salary and we don't want politics mixed with our entertainment. I think it's a little too late for that because people have woken up and you have better things to spend your money on. And this guy that flew the plane, I'm sure it's the same guy that flew the other banner. Uh, I give him my hats off to him and let them go uh, flip burgers like one of my uh, m one of my uh, subscribers have uh, s said in in statements before. Let them learn how to flip burgers because the American people have awoken and we don't like them whether they stand or stand on their heads we're done and and the empty seats prove that fact let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching